Hello everyone, it's Chris, Eldritch Pipes. Today is a tobacco review slash comparison. I'm smoking Cheriton's Black Flake. It's a vapour, um, but it's not just any old vapour. If you uh, were keeping up with news on Dunhill tobacco blends. Uh, you know that um, a lot of news was coming out that the uh, production of Dunhill tobaccos was what well, they were they were going out of production, and so it seems that Chariton made a, a range of match blends for the for the more popular Dunhill blends. And Chariton's Black Flake is their match blend for Dunhill's Dark Flake. Uh, now, of all the Dunhill blends, the only one I ever really cared about was the Dark Flake. It's not just my favourite vapour, it's one of my favourite blends sort of ever. Now, the crisis has somewhat passed <laughs> because um, it turns out that uh, Black, uh, Dunhill's Dark Flake was one of the blends that they've decided to keep producing. So, in that sense, um, it's, it's not really an issue anymore, but it was nearly an issue. But I was still intrigued to see how Cheriton's Black Flake stood up. So, all right. So, do I review it on its own merit or as a comparison to Dark Flake? Well, I think I've got to do both. So, as a vapor. It's quite light. The the tin note is is quite sweet, it's quite light. There are some uh light citrusy notes in it. The perique is It's there, but it's, it's quite mild. Um, I would compare it to Solani 633, um, which is technically a vapour, um, but if you know that one, it, it calls itself a Virginia Flake, and really, For me, this comes across as a Virginia Flake. It's, it's just, if you're into the Virginia Flakes, this might come across as darker from that point of view, but from a vapour point of view, it's, um, I don't think it really does the job. The Solani 633 gets away with it because the Virginias in it are really sweet. Um, and that sweetness holds your interest. This, um, it's not bad for a Virginia Flake. <laughs> Every now and then you get just a little wisp of toastiness 
um, it's either the Perica is just too light in it for me. I would want a heavier hand on the Perique. Or it's too young right now. And it needs some some age on it. Um, there's not a lot of complexity. Because it just gets that sort of green citrus note and it just hits that note again and again. It's it's mild. I mean I sometimes find that Virginia flakes to be a bit stingy. It can go a bit hot and a bit stingy. This is borderline on that. It, it's mainly mellow every now and then again. It can get a bit hot. I tend to smoke a bit fast. So I would, this doesn't replace a Solani 633 for me. Um, it's not something that I would go for. Okay, so, that being said, how does it compare as a match blend to Dunhill's Dark Flake? And the answer is terribly. <laughs> it's really terribly. These have got nothing in common. So, I mean, let's just have a, a gander. This is the black flake. With a suspicious amount of just bright Virginias in it. This is Dunhill's Dark Flake. This is Dark Flake. This is not Black Flake, is it? You can see, technically, you, you can see some of the darker um, flecks that are quite possibly Perique, but um, these two blends clearly don't have much in common. The tin note on this, on the Chariton Black Flake, is bright, slightly farmyardy, uh, bright citrusy, not necessarily sweet, a, a vague sweetness to it. The the Dark Flake, the Dunhill Dark Flake is rich, it's raisiny, uh, it's but it's a beautiful tobacco. It's complex, it's fruit cakey, um, <laughs> and you know, well, worlds apart. The dark flake to smoke is just uh, an experience. It's again, it's that rich, it's sweet, it's uh, rich, it's a full flavour. Not necessarily a strong tobacco, but the flavour is full. It's very toasty as well. Um, one of the first things I noticed about that blend was how sort of toasted it tasted. Uh, and uh, the Black Flake does not have any of that. So, that's my verdict. The Black Flake is no replacement for Dark Flake. So we'd, it's just as well that for the time being that tobacco is staying in production. So I don't know how Black Flake came about. I don't know how that came about. It's almost like that would be more of a, a replacement for their for the standard flake, which is just a Virginia flake. That would be 
my guess. Although apparently there's a match blend for that, I would, I would, I'm intrigued to know what that would be if not Black Blake. Uh, anyway, all right, that's it for me. That was a quick one. No pipes to show you uh, at this time. I'm working away. Um, probably next time there might be a couple to show. Um, but there you go. Um, Till next time, take it easy and I'll see you soon. Ta-da, chaps.